On agenda item number eight is our county manager's report. Mr. Please. Chairman and Commissioners, uh, we had a presentation yesterday at our work session from Mr. Dave Shepler, uh, Regional Manager for Advanced Disposal. At your request, uh, representatives are back. Mr. Shepler, I believe, amend, amended his travel schedule so that he could uh, be with you tonight and um, share again the information that was presented to you yesterday. So, Mr. Shepherd, would you come forward, please? Thank you. My name is Dave Shepherd. I'm the regional manager for Advanced Disposal. Um, and what I wanted to do and what I did yesterday was just provide a uh, update on where we're at in the transition process, some of the issues we're having, and uh, more importantly, kind of start from the beginning to, to how we got here. Um, this was a different, difficult contract startup. Um, Anytime you have a subscription service-based contract where the residents are required to call in, um, it, it makes it difficult to, to get the uh, carts delivered to each home because you're not delivering carts to every home. The other issue with, with the startup was we had requested a March 1 start date in order to give us time to send out the mailers and give the residents time to sign up. However, uh, we understand it was a February 1st start date that you wanted, and, and obviously we're a partner of the county and we're going to do what the county requests. So, so this is where we're at. In the beginning, the, the key issue was when the community drop-off centers closed on February 1, there's probably over 3,000 people that had not signed up yet. So they didn't have a place to put their garbage. But with that said, I, I just want to state right here and now, we are going to get this corrected. Week one is done. Um, we're now into week two. But where we're at in the process right now, we have over 10,500 people out of the 12,000 that have signed up and subscribed. So there's still approximately 1,500 that have not signed up. We are down from over 250 cart deliveries, 400 cart deliveries a day, to 80 deliveries today, and we have 50 scheduled to tomorrow. So it is dropping off. Um, our fear is the, the 1,500 still out there don't call in. Um, as far as some corrective action items that we have, the concerns that have been brought to our attention and that we're working on, I want to share with everyone here tonight. Uh, number one, was delays in getting a cart. Um, our original mailer had mentioned that if you didn't call in before January 11th, there would be delays in getting your cart. However, with that said, um, for the next three to four weeks, even if you don't have a cart, if you have called in and you don't have a cart yet, we're gonna pick up what's on the street, okay? We understand that it's been difficult for residents to call in and there's garbage on the street. As we go down the street, we're gonna pick it up. It doesn't matter if you have a cart or not. We're gonna do that for the next few weeks because we wanna give everyone a chance to call in. Um, we have seven delivery crews that are delivering carts seven days a week. The first week was very difficult, but we made it through it. The bulk of it is over, and now we're able to focus on getting anyone that calls in a cart quickly. If you call in, you can expect to get the cart in three days. That's where we're at. I just wanna make that clear. The second issue is, um, the literature at delivery. It was brought to our attention, some customers called in that they, didn't, they did not get the cart hanger upon delivery. That's the cart hanger that said what day your material will be picked up. Um, some of that is, you know, it falls off, human error, wind blows, whatever the reason. What we've done to alleviate that, we actually have provided the county with a color-coded map that depending on where you live, it tells you what day your service is gonna be. That's going to be on the county's website. We have also put in the Valdosta Daily Times for this week an advertisement with this map that shows the pickup day. So you can get it from the county website and check your newspaper. It will be there also. And, and of course, you can call into the office. The other issue has been missed pickups. Um, this has dropped off. The first week was very difficult. We understand that there were missed pickups. However, if you call in, we're not questioning it. We're getting it picked up that day if you call in before noon. If you call in the afternoon, we'll get it the next morning. I think a lot of that will stop due to the fact we're moving forward on picking up everything that's on the ground on the street, regardless of if you have a card or not for the next few weeks. Long hold times on our telephones. This has been an issue, and uh, it's frustrating. I know it is. I hate calling somewhere, and it's a long hold time. Part of the issue is when you have over you know, 3,000 people trying to call in at once, it's very difficult for people to get through on the phone lines. I just want you to know we have seven people at our office who are taking phone calls. We brought in four temps to assist with it. Uh, we are also ordering a new port, which will help the bandwidth on our phone so we can take more calls at one time. 
that will help us down the road. Obviously, the, the increase in the first week was more than the system could handle, but we are on top of it. Our, our average calls per day are about 525. That's down from 800 calls per day a week ago. <coughs> Um, today, I can tell you that we were down to 400 calls today, so it is getting better and the calls are coming down. There was a question of a $2 charge if on hold. Um, I think the charge is on the customer's telephone service provider. That is not out of our system. We, we certainly don't provide that charge. Um, delivering of broken carts. We as a company, we had a contract that was 60,000 carts that uh, were no longer serviced. They were uh, good carts. and, and the option was to throw these away or to reuse them. We, we felt like it was the right thing to do to reuse them, and it actually provided a cheaper rate for the residents for us to use them. Um, however, in hindsight, um, I think in the future I'm going to go with new carts, but with that said, they came in off transportation with more damage than we expected. Um, some of the carts got delivered with broken axles. We understand that, or wheels. But I want you to know we have a complete inventory on our yard to repair these carts. If you have a broken cart, we will come out and fix it. Every cart we are sending out now should not have damage on it. If it does, let us know. But we have the parts on site, and we will get them fixed. Um, wrong addresses. The cart being delivered to the wrong address. Again, this is part of the subscription system. Um, a lot of times the house number is not there. It's difficult to find the house. I can assure you, if you let us know that the cart went to the wrong address, we will get it corrected, in most cases that day if you call before noon. Um, Accepting glass for recycling. Um, originally, the intent was not to accept glass. And the reason for that is it devalues the commodity, the recycled material, if glass is in it. It's very hard to market. Most processors don't want it. However, we were asked to reconsider, and we have done so. We will accept glass now. So you can put glass in your recycling bin. Um, the other issue is if you have extra material, construction demolition material, you've got extra yard debris or it's just not enough, we do have a, a community drop-off center at the Evergreen Landfill to where you can take it there. Um, again, there is a charge for that, but it is an option for you to take it there if you have additional material. Um, one other item, if you don't have a cart yet and you haven't signed up yet and you're having an issue with the phone, I also want to offer you can stop by our office at 1101 Hawkins Street and pick up a cart there. We're more than happy to give it to you in person to help alleviate that. I know it's frustrating, and, but we will do that if you stop by our office. And finally, I just want to say that we are here for the long term. Um, we built advanced disposal by providing quality service. We are a partner of this county. We will get this right, regardless of the difficulties that we were faced in starting it up, and you will get the quality service you signed us up for. Um, we're through week one. We're now into week two and continuous improvement will occur. And I thank everybody for time, and I, I'm happy to answer questions if need be. Do we have any questions for Mr. Shepard? I have a comment, Mr. Chairman. I uh, appreciate you coming back and adjusting your schedule to be here, and I think uh, this information should help alleviate a lot of the concerns that citizens have. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'd like to thank you for coming back also. Um, like I said, um, you know, a lot of things I had heard, but I had, I didn't know factually myself. I actually received a contract today, and I, I got to say, you know, I, um, you know, knowledge is power. You know, communication is the key to success. Um, regarding the Evergreen um, landfill, is are they charged by tonnage or based by weight? Yeah, but if, if it's per cart when you come in, I think there's a flat fee. If it's just a car, if it's a car, or I mean, if it's a, a large truck or something, it would be tonnage. But typically, it's just going to be a flat fee for what they bring in. Any other questions? Mr. Shepard, thank you very much. We appreciate that.